Now, like Brack TV shows, some of them are good. Not gonna lie, like I love me some Crown Lake, okay? I Quality over quantity. That's all I gotta say, Brad TV. Quality over quantity. I want Brad TV to succeed and I want them to do a lot more with their brand and whatnot. But this ain't it. Like, y'all are just gonna continue to get dragged on social media if y'all don't make a difference because. You know, no Tino shade. Actually, all tea, all shade. Yeah, yeah. I literally hit my hip on the window trying to get in here. And we were trying to do something new. We were trying to do something new. Hey y'all, it's Harriana and I'm back with another video. Welcome to or welcome back to the pirate ship, also known as Harry Hook's pirate ship. Always remember that I am the captain. You are not my first mate. I don't got no first mate. Nobody is worried of me in the first mate. Y'all already know that. If you're wondering why the pirate ship looks different, I relocated. And when I say relocated, I literally just moved from one corner of my room to the other, okay? My ass was hurting so bad on that floor over there making videos for y'all. That's part of the reason why a lot of my videos have gotten shorter like you know my videos usually range between 20 and 30 minutes and they were all starting to range between like 15 and 20 minutes I'm sorry my butt was hurting way too bad I wasn't comfortable over there on the floor and I was like you know what it's just time for a change I just wanted something different and also I'm like way more productive just being at my desk anyway like I literally was able to get so much work done I'm proud of myself I'm so proud of myself pat on the back pat on the back Harry but anyway, I know y'all are wondering, where is the damn fishbowl intro? It's been raining nonstop in Georgia. It's like when it stops, it goes outside and it feels gross. That's why my hair looks the way it is, because I went outside today, because I went to go deliver y'all's packages. Make sure you go shop at harryanahook.com. So, yeah, I'm very, very excited. I feel like I just needed a new change, as I am dealing with a lot right now, and I just kind of want to do something different. So... Like I said, this video right here, it is going to be very different from a lot of my regular content. But like I said, I don't want you guys thinking that I'm changing because one, we're already in a different area in the room. And two, today's topic is not going to be about nostalgia or family or children's entertainment. I feel like it does fit into the children's entertainment for the most part because children are a big aspect into what I'm talking about. But you know, just know that TikTok drama is not going to be a thing. It's just something that I just felt like I needed to speak up about and like give my hot takes on it because it is completely unacceptable. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I feel the way I do. So this special video right here, I originally was just going to put this on my Patreon, but with all that's going on and then just knowing how nothing much is going to come out of this i feel like it was important for me to like put this on the main channel so y'all gonna hear what i have to say whether y'all like it or not like i said i was gonna put it on patreon I have a patreon please consider supporting got merch got a web show now let's go ahead and get into this so i have somebody that has been on tiktok since about you know 2019 before you know it became a thing in 2020 because you know of the panorama also known as the personal pan pizza that i like to call it so in with this recent news about sienna may gomez to her Big, big middle fingers to her. I wouldn't even put my, middle, my toe middle finger up, but I don't know how to stick my toe middle finger up. And yeah, if you like feet, ignore that. <laughs> but like I said, I have noticed that there's just this ongoing problem with this app right here. Because I went and checked her social media. Um, She's still sitting pretty at millions of followers, okay? And people just gonna wait one minute like they always do. They wait a minute. They stop interacting with them. They pretend like they cared about what they did. Wait till it dies down. Sees that barely anybody is talking about it. And then start giving them attention again and start promoting them and start getting their sp sponsorships and brand deals and yada, yada, yada. You know how the endless cycle goes. Problematic influencer does something bad that actually harms somebody or was just straight up ignorant. They get dragged for it. 
they go into hiding for a little bit and it's slowly 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 and slowly they start to get attention again now the only time that i have ever seen this work with someone where they low slowly 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 didn't come back to you know their internet fame was shane dawson and david dobrik like they are like the only two people that i've seen that got dragged so bad off the internet that they are not really a thing anymore and I'm gonna go as after all of this stuff dies down, she's still gonna go right back to making money off that funky ass app. Same with Tayden, and same with Zoe Lavern, and same with Addison Ray. Like, literally, all of these TikTok people stay in mess, and nothing ever happens for it because they all seem to have one big thing in common. They are all usually light skinned, skinny, sometimes white. Not saying all the time that they're white, but being white plays like a big factor into it but all of these people just remain unaffected by their actions that they do need to be held accountable for now tiktok is like the new instagram in my opinion because if any of you had instagram back in like 2013 2014 and 2015 you would know that like a lot of people got big followings on there just for like being either rich or pretty or both okay and the thing about it is that being rich also affected being pretty because there were a lot of pretty people on instagram then but they didn't really have the money like that they weren't out here flaunting their wealth or out here flaunting their parents wealth and they weren't living in big old mansions or whatever like they were still beautiful like the other people but because they didn't have money they were not seen as pretty by instagram standards and weren't really getting like the attention that these other people were getting now when I say rich, it's obvious that they were like pretty well off. Not everybody was super duper freaking rich. Like they had like every kind of Louis Vuitton bag out here. But a lot of these people are very, very privileged, very, very well off. Like their parents aren't in bad financial situations. Their parents are able to buy them nice things. Like I said, if you were rich or you were conventionally pretty, meaning you were either like light skinned or white and then boom, you're TikTok famous. That's just the, all you need, okay? That's literally all you need. You don't need to have any particular skill or talent or intelligence if you want to be a TikTok star like you literally have all of these traits skinny white or light skin and your parents are well off or you're well off you can be a TikTok star that's just the simplest thing about it that's just the mm -hmm. easiest way it goes down to about it let me I literally just got a notification from TikTok we're gonna hit mute because F this app Anyway, I thought I had my phone on Do Not Disturb anyway. So, the best content from TikTok usually comes from people of color, plus size people, and members of the LGBT community. That is where a lot of the best content on that app comes from. And it, it just don't be adding up. Things just really don't add up on TikTok because one, people that are members of like any of those things that I just named, including myself, we have all been shadow banned from TikTok at some point. We have all been banned at some point from TikTok, okay? You either had your account, like, deleted, you either were locked out of your main account and you had to make another one, or TikTok just shadow banned you all together. Literally, it is so hard to make a following off of TikTok if you're not a Charlie D'Amelio or Addison Rae or any, any of these other, like, you know, light-skinned, white, rich people. It is so hard to make money off of TikTok. Like, I literally made a TikTok today about how I did so much on TikTok, that funky app for today, and only made two pennies. Okay. Anyway, like I said, TikTok loves to shadow ban people when they fall into these categories, when they see what they're doing. Like, if TikTok sees that you're making numbers on this app, they are gonna rip that away from you. You can make, like... It used to be so much easier to go viral on TikTok. And it's always just been like this since I've noticed in like 2019 is that you can get 100k views on one video and then you post another video which probably was better than that one. And TikTok is not going to push it out because they feel as if you don't deserve good things. But anyway, anyway, if, if TikTok, like I said, that creator fun pays like shit. But let's, let's go into the next subject. Two... They don't get the recognition that deserve. And the main problem I have with this is that the best people on TikTok start 
all of the trends and they usually don't have that big of a following like a lot of them probably are just right at a million followers or they have like 100k or like 50k or whatever and then when they get to like a million followers they'll probably get two million followers they just stay there their followers don't really transfer that much over to like their instagram and it does but the highest they'll probably get is like 50k or whatever like it's not the same. It is not the same. They'll probably get like 200k because I know Chalene got like 200k. I know Choice Brown got like about 700k. But a lot of them don't be hitting the millions like all the little white kids do. So like this is one irritating thing that when it comes to TikTok is that um you can go to sounds and if you go to sounds and if you look at the top of the sound the people that usually at the top are usually either white or viewed as pretty by society's beauty standards explain that to me why is that why is that please help me understand it i find that so funny because a lot of those videos that be at the top of sounds i don't be seeing them on my for you page my for you page is very diverse okay my for you page is full of people all different body shapes and sizes um lots of members of the lgbtq community lots of people of color okay um i find that very particular interesting how that's all i see on my for you page i barely see straight white people on my for you page on tiktok but then when i go to these sounds they're always at the top i find that extremely strange but anyway the people at the top of these are usually like you know white or i said viewed as pretty by society's beauty standards and nine times out of ten these people have very little to no creativity in these TikToks. They literally would just sit there with their phone, okay? Yes, run away, Toph. A lot of you guys talking about my phone case. They literally would sit there, get on their phone, do something like pretty or like that to the sound, and then boom, 100 views. Like, you mediocrity mediocre very very mediocre and that's why so many people including myself don't really like when very popular tiktokers find sounds they don't we don't like them when they find sounds because it just ruins the entire vibe they literally killed the entire trend because they ruin it with being mediocre it's annoying and it's it's frustrating it's just really really frustrating because it's like when we see them use them they use them and then it just ruins it for everyone else and that's just kind of like another thing I have just learned from social media in general and like content creating is that being mediocre always wins. Like you go look at all of like the YouTubers that have over a million followers on this platform. Like I'm not saying right at a million because there are a lot of channels up here on YouTube, not that many, that are at a million followers and they post great content, but they just kind of be stuck at a million followers. Go to other people that have way more than a million followers and you'll probably find a YouTube channel less than 500k that has better and or more entertaining content than them. I'm just saying, I barely watch anybody that has over 500k. That's not even, that's too much to me. It's really 300k. I really don't watch anybody like that. I'm really slowly starting to get into under 250k because I've really been looking at my suggestion box. I'm just like, yeah, it's not hitting. It's not hitting. I'm tired of mediocre people. I notice that a lot of people, when their content gets bigger, their content gets worse. But anyway, that's just kind of off subject. But people with like big ass followings and who are viewed as conventionally pretty by society standards, they get so much from like, you know, brand deals and whatever. And they even get opportunities that they never even thought they had an interest in. And that's where I bring the entire acting thing into play because this is like one thing that really bothers me. And I'm going to talk about Brat TV. I've been trying to avoid talking about Brat TV for the longest on my channel. As you know that I am a YouTuber. I am a content creator. I am an actor, okay? And I may one day get an audition for a Brat TV show and I'm just like, I talked about this on my channel. But you know what? We're going to talk about Brat TV right about now. Now, like, Brat TV shows, some of them are good, not gonna lie, like, I love me some Crown Lake, okay? I will, y'all, we gotta have a discussion about Crown Lake. If any of y'all watch Crown Lake, leave a comment down below, and we'll probably do, like, some type of, like, discussion of the show, because I really just want to talk to somebody about this show, because I loved it, I was obsessed with it, but anyway, some of the shows are good, not all, not all. 
way more shows are terrible than they are good on brand Net the brat network okay but they got hits they got hits when it hits it hits okay i'm not gonna lie now a lot of these shows have potential okay a lot of these shows don't really have terrible premises but they will be so much better if they hire trained actors because i noticed why crown leak was so much better is because most of the cast I've seen them acting other stuff. They're actual trained actors, okay? You have Miss Amber from Andy Mack up in there, okay? You have Francesca, the little red-headed girl from Dog With A Blog. You had the little token black best friend from Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Don, okay? The show's cast knew how to act, okay? They knew what they were doing. Like, too many of these brat shows, these shows are led by social media stars who barely have any acting experience. And it just ruins it. And it's like if they do have acting experience, they're usually just pretty. They're just usually cute or just nice to look at. And they're not really all that great at their job. Like, that's just another big issue within, like, the entertainment industry in general. Because I throw social media into the entertainment industry because this is entertainment. And, like, the social media industry is kind of like its own specter of its own. But I still put it in that same category because so much of what goes on with social media goes on with within Hollywood so many people get more opportunities because of the way they look like I said the shows be having good premises but the acting just be so bad that nobody just wants to take them seriously okay they just see this as a way to like you know promote their brand they see they have this famous Instagrammer this famous TikToker this famous YouTuber and they throw them in the show just to promote their brand and I'm like y'all sometimes Quality over quantity. That's all I gotta say, Brad TV. Quality over quantity. I want Brad TV to succeed and I want them to do a lot more with their brand and whatnot. But this ain't it. Like, y'all are just gonna continue to get dragged on social media if y'all don't make a difference because I don't want Brad TV to fail. I really don't. I want them to do a lot better with their content. And also, like, a lot of people be really, really mean bullying the kids on them shows. I'm like, y'all, the shows aren't good, but don't pick on the kids about them, okay? It's just Brat TV just has so much potential to be better, but Pretty Privilege literally is the reason why it is not. Anyway, let's move on. So, when it comes to Pretty Privilege and most of these people's followers are kids, okay? And we know we are here on the pirate ship to protect the children. We know that children are very young and impressionable. They don't really know how to think for themselves and they're still trying to find themselves. Like, young kids, like, in the age of, like, middle school and, like, freshmen in high school... Those are like the main people that really look up to a lot of like these TikTok stars and a lot of these Instagram stars, you know, people that they really shouldn't look up to because a lot of these people are just really horrible influences on them. And even a lot of these YouTubers, because I notice more people are going more towards um, TikTok and Instagram when it comes to like following people for like looks and whatever than it is YouTube. As YouTube has become a lot more middle class over the years. That is just something that I've really noticed. But anyway... A lot of like these middle schoolers and early high schoolers, they look up to these people and then they think that if they aspire to be up to them and they look up to them and they want to be more like this person, that they will also have a career being a successful influencer. And I hate to break it to y'all. Hope I don't sound ridiculous to you. But unless you are rich, unless you are upper middle class, unless you are light skinned or white, skinny, or you have been building up your brand for a long time, like I say, um, a more Jada. Not not a more Jada. What is her name? Jayla Corian, that's her name, and Jackie Ina, who have been on the internet forever, okay? Unless you are someone like that, your chances of becoming, like, an influencer or just internet famous are just slim to none. Because people were trying to figure out how my channel took off and whatever. Y'all, I've been on YouTube since 20. 14 okay i've been on youtube since i was like 15 years old okay this took a minute for me to get up here this mess did not happen overnight okay it it just takes a minute and i don't even i'm not an influencer by the way people like to say that i'm an influencer and i actually kind of take offense to that i'm not an influencer i'm a content creator i'm even a blogger to a certain extent you can even Call me a filmmaker, you can call me a writer, you can call me a freelancer, just don't call me an influencer because that's just not what I do. And because influencer just has like such a negative, you know, reputation after it now, I just kind of don't want to be associated with that term. But anyway, 
like I said, your chances of becoming an influencer are very slim to none, y'all. And, and when I mean influencer, I mean, you know, people as big as, you know, Lilia Buckingham and Charlie D'Amelio or Addison Rae. I'm trying to think of other people like LaRae and even Sky Jackson. I'll throw her in there too. You're not going to be as big as these people. It's not that easy for regular people like you and I. And a lot of these influencers are actually really horrible people because they take advantage of how young their following is because I'm going to be real. People like me, y'all, I am a... 22 years old in college i will be the first person to tell you that so many college kids don't give a fuck about influencers we do not we don't care a lot of us give so much of our attention to content creators on the internet we like people that create art and commentary and share our thoughts and opinions and arts with the world those are the people that we are running to influencers are for teenagers okay that that is kids business right there that is kids business right there and a lot of these influencers they understand Understand that they have a very young audience. They know that their audience is just very young and they're getting rich off of their young impressionable audience, okay? And they know good and well that if they mess up and because their audience is so young that if they mess up, they'll still be around. They're not going to lose their job. They're still going to be rich. They're still going to be making money. That's why a lot of people that you know I like to call like this middle class section of the internet where it's like people like me and a lot of my peers, I would say co-workers or whatever because we all just kind of like do the same thing in the same space. A lot of them have, a lot of us have to be like very careful about what we do and say on social media because we don't want people to take things the wrong way or we don't want to slip up or whatever where a lot of these people just don't care. Like you know when all them kids was going to the Rona parties when they were just acting stupid and whatever? They knew good and well that because their following was so young that they weren't going to be affected by it at the end of the day. But like people like me who have an older audience, if I would have done something like that, y'all would not be here. I would not have the following that I do now, okay? I would not have a lot if I were out here acting a damn fool like these people are. Okay? Okay, okay. But like I said, like Sienna back to her because she was the main reason why i decided to make this video in the first place she's not going anywhere whether we want to like it or not she's not going anywhere she's going to be very unaffected by this at the end of the day because that's just how it is that's just how it works pretty privilege really sucks pretty privilege really just sucks and it's more just than people buying you things because you look nice that's literally not what pretty privilege is like it is like pretty privilege that's what it is like it is but it isn't it's way more than that you're very dense if you think that's only what privily privilege is it's like oh i go out to the club or i go to a party and guys come up to me and they buy me things and they buy me drinks and they pay for my food and whatnot when i go to the diner pretty privilege is just much more than that pretty privilege is dangerous and why it sucks is because it's getting away with things and getting opportunities that you probably weren't good enough to get like, you can get away with horrible stuff simply because you're pretty. I watch the Investigation Discovery Channel all the freaking time, and a lot of women have gotten away with things because they were pretty. Like, y'all know that entire case of that woman who literally was being gross to that middle school boy, and, you know, she ended up passing away last year? If you know which case I'm talking about, comment down below, because I'm really trying not to get this video demonetized. That's why I'm not saying the woman's name or whatever. I'm just not taking any risks. Her looks had a lot to do with why she got away with what she did or why she didn't get so much time. Okay? Okay. Like I said, it's getting away with things and getting opportunities you probably weren't good enough to get because you're simply viewed as pretty by society's beauty standards. And that is the end of this video. Y'all, I don't know if you guys can tell if my energy is a lot different or whatnot, but I'm really feeling like this new setup. This really works for me, okay? Like, my butt's not hurting on the floor. Like, I appreciate that. Like, my, my booty kind of hurting a little bit in the seat. But uh, that's different. That's different, though. I can just move around a little bit. Also, um, this hoodie I'm wearing, um, my best friend, FB Kiki, loved them so much. You guys want to, like, you know, 
purchase this hoodie i'll put some links to it down below if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button because a lot of y'all don't be subscribed to me when y'all be watching my channel and that kind of hurts my feelings a little bit if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more from me like i said hit that subscribe button if you want to support me and my channel and all the content that i create please consider joining my patreon the lowest tier is a dollar another way you can support me is to buy me a coffee i have it set to buy me a pizza because i love pizza and i'm not really a coffee person the link to that would be down below the link to my patreon will be down below and all of my social media links are harriana and my shop is harrianahook.com I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good night. Cherishing power, puff two of a kind Both wanna save the world before bad times From towns from Memphis, New York to LA The power puff girls are just here to stay